Hello, this is Noreen from Joya Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, click that subscribe and the bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. Also, new subscribers, I give away demo cards. I don't know which card you'll get, but you, I give away cards. So, uh, just put in the comments that you're a new subscriber and leave your email because I gotta talk to you and get your mailing address. Anyway, so here is Perched in a Tree and it coordinates with aspen trees. Now, I had no intention on getting this set because it's like, ah, it's another bird. But it's in the new um, catalog through, the mini catalog through the end of December. And what happened is Celebration Stampin' Up! ran out of the products. So they offered other things like the metallic uh, paper and um, also they had on there the embossing folder timber which was great i didn't have the 3d timber folder and they gave away aspen trees well aspen trees coordinates with perched in a tree i didn't know i wasn't gonna get it because it's like it's another bird stamp i don't know so i thought well i'll go ahead and get it because i was getting this for nothing so um we have i have actually four cards to show you and we're going to make the last one so with like everything else, I went ahead and I put it on my magnets here and I put them away. I stamped them all out first because I like to see how well they stamp and they actually stamp out pretty darn good. The bird's great, the tree's great, everything's great. You got four sentiments here. And then I die cut. So the first thing I die cut was that big die and you can do it a couple of different ways. Let me pull the die, sorry about that. Here's the die and I cut it like normal, like this, and then you can emboss that. So all you have to do is get an impressions plate, and what you do is you cut your die upside down. So you use your number one plate, and then the clear plate, the die, the paper, and then you use a blue shim, and then your impressions plate on top, and you can make an embossment from that die. So you can do this two different ways like that. And then the rest of the dies look like this. So this is like the, the leaves and stuff. And then they've got these two really good leaves. I mean, if you're gonna look for a fall anything, these are great because they don't have a coordinating stamp. They're just on their own, but they're embossed. So these are fantastic. And then you've got the tree limb and the bird. So let's get to showing you how to do the bird. So I took the bird and I took three different colors and I used the same color on each one of them. And that is the Daffodil Delight, the Knight of Navy and the Real Red. So what I've got on this sheet here is the bird in colored pencils using a blending pen this bird is in Stampin' Rights, excuse me, Stampin' Blends. This one is Stampin' Rights. So a Stampin' Right looks like this and a Stampin' Blend looks like this. And then the last one is watercoloring. And I like to use the really pointed water painter and it comes in this set here. So I used the pointy one to do watercolor. Now what I liked about this bird is that I had a lot of control over like his wing here and I left some of it white and it looked kind of neat. But then I thought, well, this one looks, you know, I, I used to like this one more than the other ones. And then it's like, eh, I don't know. And then this one's just too dark. So I went ahead and I did the watercolor pencil again and gave it more definition and it looked better. But then, and this is also another colored pencil one. I just do, did different colors but the last card that I'm gonna show you is the best and I ended up using the watercolor. So let me show you the first card. Here's the first card and believe it or not, it was kind of the easiest one. Uh, what I've got here is a basic black, five and a half by four and a quarter. Now all of my supplies, all the dimensions are in the description of the video. So next to the video title, there should be a little arrow or show, show more and the whole thing will pop down. So you don't have to like frantically d write down dimensions. So just basic black. And then I've got this background here. This is hues of happiness. And what I had to do is I had to cut the paper so that the green was like this. So you can't just cut it in half because it won't work. 
because I've got the green grass and then yellow and it goes into more yellow. There's a tiny bit of the pink up here, but that is fine. So I just cut it here and then I cut off the piece that I needed. And then I took my free timber 3D embossing folder from Celebration because they ran out of stuff and used soft suede and embossed a piece of paper. And then I took the die and I cut it, okay? And then I took another piece of paper and this is all four by five and a quarter here. I measured it out. So you've got uh, the hues of happiness and the soft suede. And this on top is from Rustic Harvest. And I've, I've used this paper a couple of times now and it's, it matches a lot of things. So um, after I went ahead and cut my trees out, I lined up that die with Rustic Harvest just on top. So I have the trees and Rustic Harvest and I lined them all up so they're perfectly, you know, on top of each other and pulled it through my die cutter. So this will fit perfectly. Now the only thing you have to do is you have to cut out all these trees because when you cut it, it's going to look like this. So what I did is took a very sharp, good pair of scissors and I cut all this out. Actually, I cut out the middle, just get it out of my way. And then I snipped around it so I got that perfect frame. Now, when I put this down on the paper, I put the hues of happiness down, I just snailed it. And then with the trees, I took my foam adhesive sheets, strips, and I bumped it up. So the trees are bumped up. And then I put that rustic harvest on top and just snailed it down. And then inside I've just got Cajun craze, very vanilla, not white, because white doesn't go with fall, it's very vanilla. And then a little so saffron leaf here. So this is card number one. Here's card number two. And I, I actually like this card, this is kind of cute. It's on Evening Evergreen. I bordered it with Early Espresso and I took a piece of basic white and I stamped the trees first. So I went ahead and stamped them in Early Espresso and it's like, it's not a tree, it's the branch. So I. I just stamped the branch three different times. Actually, here's the stamp. And then I used the leaf stamp in two different colors. I used Mossy Meadow and Evening Evergreen. So I did the two different colors. I also did stamping off. So I stamped it and then stamped it again. And it made a really nice look for the trees. Now, usually when I do any kind of blending, um, I'll maybe do that first or second. In this case, I did it second because these are such strong colors that even when I use my blending brush and go over it, it's not going to really do any, I don't have to mask this at all. It's just dark enough to do that. And I went ahead and did the grass in um, Old Olive and then I did Balmy Blue for the sky. The tag is from Painted Labels here and the sentiment is from the stamp set. So, and then inside I just did Early Espresso. I used white here. I should have used Very Vanilla. And then I just did one of those awesome leaves. Those leaves are great. So this is card number two. Here's card number three. And this one turned out good too. So this is basic black. I bumped it up on Cajun Craze. Actually, it's not Cajun Craze. It's Mary Merlot that's under here. And then I took a whole bunch of colors. So I took pumpkin pie, early espresso, so saffron, calypso coral, coral crushed curry, Cajun Craze, Daffodil Delight, and Soft Suede. And I cut out both the large and the small leaves and I put it on a piece of uh, cardstock. You could pick any cardstock because it's actually on something. So I actually put this on white and I just nailed them down in order. And then I flipped it over and I took some sharp scissors and I cut off all the edges. So it looked really cool. And then this is the largest or the second largest rectangle stitched frame just with the sentiment inside you got that leaf inside too and of course the mary merlot this is very vanilla i got wise there so this is card number three and now we're gonna look and make card number four here's card number four isn't it cute it's so cute we're gonna be doing some blending and all kinds of stuff here so let's start out with the card base i use pacific point and then I went ahead and put down a piece of Daffodil Delight. And this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So it's just a little smaller than the base. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. And then we're gonna jump to the inside here. I've got a four by five and a quarter 
Daffodil Delight and snail this down and put it down like that. And then we're gonna put our white, which is three and a half by four and three quarters and just put it on like so. And we're gonna be um, doing this leaf a little later when we do some coloring. So that's the first part. Now I've got a piece of basic white, it's cut four by five and a quarter, and we're gonna be doing some blending. So we're gonna take our Daffodil Delight, stamp it up here, or pound it up there, and then start coloring in the white piece. Now go ahead and fill the whole thing because that blue will cover everything up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you might wanna make some darker spots just because and just fill that whole sheet okay like that and now we're going to switch to pacific point now yellow and blue make green so just be aware and then we're going to go ahead and just give it blue randomly at first okay and then i'm going to pick some spots here and I am going to make them more blue, like really hard. So I'm gonna make that real blue, make this real blue without doing, you know, too much. Make this real blue. Okay, I'm gonna go back with my yellow or my Daffodil Delight. Make this real yellow. Just kind of adjust your colors. Make sure you got it where you want. And it's gonna turn out different every single time, so there's no reason to try to make it 100% exact like the other one, because it won't happen. So just like so. Now I've got another piece of paper. This just happens to be four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to do the same thing, kind of but I'm gonna use Daffodil Delight and Parakeet Party. And what we are making is the leaves. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go with the yellow. And then we're gonna be cutting those out individually. So you wanna make sure when we're cutting out that we kinda of save enough paper, not only for the six uh, sets of the leaves, but also the big leaf on the inside. So here's the daffodil and here's parakeet party. I love parakeet party. And I'm going to blend this in. And if you splotch a little bit, it's okay because it's gonna be cut up. It's so, you know, you won't be able to tell. But put enough green on it so it looks green. The yellow just adds to it because you got a totally different color going on. Okay, and I might add a little more yellow. And just kind of play with it and see where it goes. Okay, just like that. Now you're gonna take the Parakeet Party and the Daffodil Delight, not this one, put this blue one to the side. And we're gonna make six of these and one of these. So hopefully it all fits. So I'm gonna die cut this and I'll be right back. So I've cut out all the leaves. Now I did start with the little one first right in the corner and they all fit on that paper. So that's how you do this part. Also take a piece of basic white and potted succul succulents has this really nice sentiment tag. So I went and die cut that out. Now for the sentiment here, I'm only using part of the stamp from the stamp set. I didn't use the top line and they kind of did that in the catalog here on page 76 for that uh, perched in a tree is they they cut it all the way off but we're going to do a partial of it here so in order to do that i decided since the uh, sentiment tag was white that i would match the color in the background so we're going to take another small piece of paper and take some daffodil and do that same thing and go ahead and just cover most of it okay and then take your Pacific Point and just give it a little bit and then adjust it however you want. 
like I wanted a little bit more yellow and just like that. Now I'm going to take the sentiment and do it in memento and stamp over that spot that you just inked up like that. Now you're going to take a good pair of scissors and you're going to cut around I am here for you. So just you like sit back, take it slow, kind of make it even from the space under the letter and the letters next to it. Just kind of, kind of do it as nice as you can. And we're going to cut the two sentences apart. Try to make them kind of go with however the letters are going. So I'm going to continue to cut this and I'll be right back. So your sentiment should look like that. And then we're going to grab some mini dimensionals and just put it up on the sentiment tag. And that's what it's going to look like. Now we're going to make the branch. So I'm going to take early espresso and I grabbed a piece of scratch from my folder here because I didn't want to, you know, I keep um, these storage solution folders and I'm an Amazon affiliate. When you go to the uh, description of my video, this will be listed there. You can click on that link and you know, it magically shows up at your door. It also helps me out since I'm an affiliate. I get a little kickback if you order anything. So I keep all my scraps in here. So I have this nice little scrap. So that's early espresso. And then I'm going to take crumb cake and another blending brush. And I'm going to color in the branch. And we get that. And now I'm going to die cut the branch. So when you're die cutting this branch, make sure you take a piece of tape. Now I use the delicate frog tape. You can get this at you know, like any hardware store, but I have an Amazon link. So if you click on my link, you go to the description of the video, it'll be in there and it magically shows up at your house. So anyway, so I'm gonna tape that down and die cut it. So I've got this branch and I'm not one for leaving that border on. So I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I am going to cut the border off. And once I get to the branches, I don't have to worry about that because it'll be covered up. So from here down, I'm just going to cut it off. Don't worry about the end either. We're going to hang it over the edge. So I'm going to cut it. And I'll be right back. So I cut the edge off the branch. So now let's get to the bird. So we've got our bird and we are going to stamp Mr. Bird in memento. And this stamp's really nice, so I mean, no problem with that. Now I'm gonna get my water painters and I'm gonna get the one that's really pointy. And I'm gonna grab Crumb Cake, Pacific Point, and Daffodil. Now the Crumb Cake is for the feet. And you might wanna also grab a little paper towel. And let's start, let's go ahead and do the feet really quick. Just get it out of the way. And keep it open like this, because we're going to be dipping. So I'm going to get my water going here. I'll just take my paper towel, get it going. Maybe use the lid a little bit and kind of point it. Grab a little bit of ink and very, very lightly, barely touch it because <laughs> you don't want to go down on it too hard. It'll go over those lines. You don't want too much water because that's memento. It's not stays on. And let's Go ahead and fill in the little feet. It's so tiny. Just barely, barely tap it. So now we're done with the crumb cake. Now let's do the yellow part. So you got your daffodil delight. Now be careful about your um, water pen um, dripping on your on your area here because I accidentally dripped on this card front. And the reason why this is here is because there's a major drip there and it worked out. So <laughs> take your mistakes and make something creative. So um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do here, and I wasn't, I wasn't quite doing it in my example. So this was the, the watercolor one and I just filled it in solid, but you really shouldn't do that with watercolors. You need to like 
make them and what I did is I made it darker here and lighter as I went out so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start where I want it dark the most which is gonna be next to the um, blue and I'm just going to keep going and not dip it into the ink for a while or if I do I'll start at the dark end again and you want this to gradually get lighter now I've run out of ink at this point so I'm gonna have to start again starting there and as I run out just kind of go forward or you can get some put it on your paper towel and there it'll take off some of that ink so we want it light as we go toward the outside just like this try not to hit that memento so I filled it in but I'm gonna take a little of full-on color and do the little lines here the um, feather lines on her belly just full and I might make the edge darker only because um, I want there to be more of a contrast between the two yellows here so doing the feathers here and now I'm going to take this and give it a little bit more make it a little darker okay so there's the daffodil and now let's do the Pacific point oh I forgot we need to do the beak so I'm going to take a little more of that full strength daffodil and put it on the beak making it real dark just like that I need to get that yellow off of my water painter here so I'm just squeezing it and getting it all out so I got it all out and now we're going to do the Pacific Point now I want it darker at the tips of these feathers and then I'm going to probably edge it fill in the um, little feather etchings here and then I'm going to leave a lot of white spots because it does actually look good when I was doing this one originally I really liked how the wing turned out I just didn't like the rest of it so let's get full strength here and we're going to very slowly fill in I just realized it's not Pacific Point it's Orchid Oasis but guess what we're gonna go ahead and finish it um, it might actually look better you never know so and if it doesn't then I'll reshoot this part <laughs> so that's how that goes so, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly fill in and I'm going to go over the head and I'm going to leave a lot of this just white and then I'm going to go down I'm going to do some work on the belly here decided that I wanted to make this all that color I think I'll outline it give her more color on the edge this is why I like that pointed painter because I can really get into the little tiny spots and make really nice detail with this pointed one and it only comes in that three pack or it used to I'll make sure when I'll put it on the description of the video so you have it you can just click on it and uh, I am a demonstrator so if you don't have a demonstrator or you need to place an order or whatever 
go ahead and click on one of my links. I'll go right to my Stampin' Up! site. And if you are a demonstrator, I love demonstrator subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you for subscribing. Sorry about that. I am at work and the phone rang. So now I'm going through and I'm giving full strength on the feathers on the lines here. And I also need to fill in her belly. So if you dip in and you got too much on, just try to go to places where you know you need it and then go back to where you want it lighter. And then I went all the way up to here. So we'll see how the blue one works. If you're watching the blue one, I decided that this was, was just as cute as the Orchid Oasis. I swear to gosh, I can't believe I did that. And then I also went across, I'm going to get rid of some color, went across here a little bit because I noticed I went online and looked a lot of birds and a lot of them have just like this splotch of color going across maybe a little more on the top and I'm gonna also oh too much too much too much spread that out spread 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 <laughs> I'm just gonna do the edge here with some full strength just watch that water it sneaks up on you and I'm gonna do my edges Notice I left a lot of white. I'm doing that on purpose. I think it just looks better because when you fill it in solid, it just doesn't look good. So you got to um, mute out your color and leave some white in there and it'll work perfect. So um, there's the two. <laughs> if you want to do Orchid Oasis, it's going to look like that and Pacific Point's going to look like that. So my birdie is done painting. So let's cut her out. So when you cut the birdie out, make sure you use a piece of tape. Um, I use my delicate frog tape, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. So I've cut the bird out, and now I'm gonna do the same thing like I did to that tree trunk, is I'm going to cut that white outline off. So get, get it as close as you can, but don't worry if there's a little bit of white because we're gonna take the black marker and we're gonna um, paint the outline. So I'm gonna do this and I'll be right back. So I cut the birdie all out, but you can't get all that white off. So I'm going to take my black Stampin' Right now. The black Stampin' Right you can buy just by itself. It's like four bucks in the catalog. So I'll put that in the description of my video. And you can click on it and you can go right to my site and place an order. So I'm going to go ahead and line this with the black and get rid of any kind of white. And I'll be right back. All right, let's start assembling. Let's first of all take that leaf and put it on the inside here. And now our inside is done. Now we're gonna take our watercolor piece and we're gonna take that snail and I'm gonna put it like toward the bottom here and I'm going to have it hang off the edge, okay? And then I'm gonna take all the other pieces. I'm just gonna snail it on. And I'm going to put some over the branch. And I'm going to another piece over the branch. And these are just going to be, you can just put them however you want. Now make sure you don't have any like hanging chads here. I got one I need to poke out. And I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to hang it over the edge. And that's okay because we're going to cut all those off. Grab another one. Got another little hanging chad here. Boop, go away. And I'm going to put it here and hang it over the edge. And we had six of these, so that's okay. I'm gonna put this here and then put this like that. And then I'm gonna turn it over 
and I'm gonna cut everything off so just go ahead and snip off all the pieces now I've got the snail on the back here and we're gonna put it right in the middle like so and then we're gonna grab our sentiment piece and it's up on dimensionals here and I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna snail on the card itself and put it in the upper right hand corner then I'm gonna grab mr. bird and put some dimensionals on so I put the dimensionals on there and a half of a mini dimensional there and just put your bird up on your on your branch and that's the card so you got a pacific point and orchid oasis you could choose whichever one you like anyway so that'll do it for me thanks a lot bye